Hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Juan Calito Mendoza, and I wanna thank you for spending some time with me today. Now, today all we're gonna do is we're gonna mess around with a flan paradiddle, but we're gonna add a little spice to it. So if you're ready to get to work, let's go. Actually, hold that thought. I wanna give a sincere thank you to all my subscribers. There are 25,000 of you now. This is crazy. I just wanna say thank you, and as a token of my appreciation, the one who has the best comments on the comments below, I'm gonna give a copy of my book, Rudiment Creativity, and it'll be a PDF file. All right, now let's get to work. Let's go. All right, so I don't wanna to spend too much time breaking down the preliminary exercises because they're pretty self-explanatory, and I don't want the video to be too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain each and every exercise, and then I'm gonna perform them consecutively. All right, so in preliminary exercise number one, we have a paradiddle, right, left, right, right, and we're gonna add an extra left hand. Notice the first right hand is accented. In preliminary exercise number two, now we're gonna have the same exact thing. However, we're gonna accent the last left hand. All right, in preliminary exercise number three, we're gonna have the same thing we had in number two. However, now we're gonna add a flam on the first right hand. And now this is essentially the flam paradiddle, but I'm gonna call it the flam paradiddle five because you're adding the extra left hand at the end. In addition, you'll see me perform the flam paradiddle five, and then I'll isolate the left hand and the right hand, and this is gonna be the right and left hand breakdowns. And finally, you're gonna see me perform the flam paradiddle five, but I will be splitting the hands up, so the left hand will be on the snare drum, and the right hand will be on the ride cymbal. Alright, so one thing I want you to notice is once you start splitting the hands up between the rise and the snare drum, the flam actually becomes what we call a flat flam. So Grace Snow Police, don't come after me. All right, let's get this started. So if you notice, everything is in triplets. So we're gonna count it. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. So the first thing we're gonna have is a bass drum. Then after that, we're gonna have four sets of flam paradiddle fives. Then we're gonna finish off with a flam accent. So flam left, right. And then we'll finish it off with a crash on the left hand. Let's check it out.
right, so before I show you the next musical example, I just want to explain something really quickly. So we're going to take the same exact fill that we did in number one. However, now what we're going to do is we're going to condense that into one measure. So instead of it being a two measure fill, now it's going to be a one measure fill. Everything else stays the same. It's just twice as fast. Let's check it out. Alright, so in this example, we're going to change the subdivision to 16th notes. So it's going to be 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. We start with a bass drum, then we have three sets of flam paradiddle fives, and then we finish with a bass drum and a crash cymbal. Make sure you finish the crash with the right hand. Let's check it out. In this example, we're going to stretch this whole thing out. So we're going to have a bass drum on beat one. Then after that, we're going to have six sets of flam paradiddle fives. And then on the of uh, four, we're going to have a bass drum. However, we're also going to have a flam between the snare drum and the ride cymbal. And we're going to finish off the phrase crashing on the right hand with the bass drum. Let's check it out. 